Some guy in Bulgaria gained Spotify and scammed him millions in royalties. Uh, and all this legally. Don't forget to subscribe to this channel if you want more amazing, inspiring content and be part of the notification squad by clicking the notification bell. So, um, how did they do? It's simple. How does Spotify work? Spotify is a streaming website where you put your music. So my music is there. You should follow me on Spotify. And what happens is that um, every time your song is played on Spotify, you make $0.004. The more people listen to your songs, the more money you make, of course. So how did they, this group of, of East European uh, scammers, uh, gain the system completely legally? Is that they made 500 songs. Each song were, was like 35 seconds, 40 seconds. And put the 500 songs in one playlist. So one Spotify account is $10 a month, more or less, depending on the country, but let's say $10 a month. They spend 12,000 on 1,002 accounts. Then they did a playlist with all the 500 songs that they did, right? And then with their 1.2 thousand real accounts, they set them these accounts with bots probably so that these accounts would play all the songs in the playlist continuously 24 hours a day. So if you have 500 songs that are more or less 30 seconds in a playlist and that are played every 30 seconds by 1,200 uh, people all the time, 24 hours a day for one month, it equals to more or less 72 million plays. And 72 million plays multiplied by 0.004 dollars equals 415 thousand dollars every month. And that's how they game the system. By the time the people realize the whole, the whole thing and start removing their songs and removing the access to whatever, I don't know exactly what Spotify did, uh, they, had, they, they already won a million. Because <laughs> this had been going on for a month or two or three before people stopped talking about it. This is crazy. So what can we learn from this? What we can learn from this is that, uh, yeah, every time there's a system in place, it can be gamed. Uh, people have been gaming radio forever, and uh, people have been gaming YouTube with buying views and stuff. But when you buy views for YouTube, there's a lot of artists that I know that buy YouTube views so they can have a million views on their, on their videos, so that after that, the, the promoters of show would call them and pay them because they think their song is popular. But the difference here is that Every time you get plays on Spotify, you get paid. What I learned from this, I mean, I didn't learn from it because I've been doing my different things to, to, to use this system differently, is that you can really use playlists in your advantage. And how can you use Spotify playlists in your advantage if you're an artist, is the way I do it. And I do it in a completely legal way, and there's no scam involved, I don't need to have uh, to pay 10,000 for fake accounts and stuff. It's just that you create popular playlists. You create your own playlist where you put songs that you like. And that, let's imagine uh, I have a Kizomba playlist called uh, Kizomba 2018. And in my Kizomba playlist, there's uh, 150 songs. So I have songs from Nelson Freitas, George, Isiko Pedro, Selmo Ralph, all the, all the singers that I, that I like with the songs that I like. And what I do is that once I have these playlists in, play, in, in, in place and, that, and they start having followers, like. If you have a playlist with, with 2,000, 3,000, 4,000, 10,000 followers, then in your own playlist, you put your songs. So what I do in my playlist, I do, for example, if I put 100 songs in a playlist, then I'm gonna put 50 more songs that are my songs, or songs from my production. So that when people come to listen to the playlist because they wanna follow my, my influence as a, as a music taste maker, then I control what they hear when they wanna hear Kizomba music. And I have playlists for each genre ever. So I'm gonna put a link below to all the playlists that I have so you can follow them. And this is a, it's, this is a way to use playlists in your advantage when you're a musician. And uh, it helps you uh, at the same time forge the opinion of people. And at the same time, every time you have a new song, you put it on top of your own playlist that has followers. In this way, you are completely legally using playlists to not only share your taste, but also promote your own music. And if you're a fan uh, on Spotify, you should do playlists. 
to help artists. It's, it's completely free and it's, it helps us have more plays, right? Yeah, check out my playlist on Spotify and uh, yeah, my message to this guy from Bulgaria. Well done, guys. <laughs>